Okay, so here we are. On board the Suzuki GSX 1000 SGT, I think this term is. Let's have a go. Now the last time I rode an N94, I didn't get on with it. So we'll see what this one's like. Oh, stored it already. The clutch. A bit sensitive. Just in case getting used to it. Um, first impressions. Seems a nice riding position, not too much weight on the wrists. Also, I've only just come out of the shop. Um, I'm five foot ten, as I keep saying, and my feet are flat on the floor. This seems a Nice place to be so far. That display looks very nice. I like that a lot. And there's three power modes, I've been told. And you've got A, B, and C. I'm in B at the minute, so that's a normal road. It's... I was going to think it in Newt, wouldn't it? There we go. bit of a stretch for my uh, boots on the uh, shifter but I'm, I'm sure that could be adjusted so it's not the bike's fault mirrors are a bit uh, sticky out but they work really well but I'm not a bit worried about filtering so I'm a bit a bit more forward than what I'm used to but uh, it's not uncomfortable, and in fact, surprise you don't feel too bad on my wrists, considering how hunched forward I'm feeling. But we'll see how it uh, pans out. So far, the seat is uh, feels nice. Quick shifter uh, up and down as well wrong lane <clears throat> no I'm not going to filter mate I'm <laughs> don't worry about those mirrors they stick out a bit and I've uh, got a lot of let's, let's flick it into neutral oh, very easy to find neutral sounds really nice got a, a stand still here so my knees are a fair bit bent um, as to be expected from this type of bike um, tell you what that corner's round there at slow speed is lovely yeah so my knees are bent a fair bit so sure what that'd be like on uh, long distance journeys uh, I do have a slightly dodgy right leg and knee so that makes things worse for me but uh, so far so good it's, it's not it's bearable it's not uncomfortable so that taco is really prominent really I like that display the speedo is quite big easy to read suspension feels nice so you can afford the bumps no problems at all here goes a bumpy bit here and it's absolutely fine Yeah, those mirrors may look a bit Mickey Mouse, but get a good view out. We can really see see well behind. Getting a hint of vibration through them, though. So 
like that. Traffic, so we'll see what she feels like at lower speed now. Yeah, this is well balanced. The clutch is really light. Yeah, and that is uh, that clutch is really really light. That wouldn't that wouldn't cause you any cramps or anything on longer trips. Stay. A typical uh, full sitting up. You have to rev it to get the most out of it. Brakes are good, not only popping this so, but seem to be good feel from them. I'm going to go back up here anyway. So, round the roundabout. That's, uh, yeah, that handle's proper nice on, the, on there. Yeah, a lovely little howl. <laughs> oh, look, we've got the sun right in our eyes now. That quick shift is really smooth. After I'm having to use three fingers on my clutch because uh, the two is catching one of my fingers and hurting. So yeah, uh, but then again, I'll be using a quick shift anyway, so it's only an issue in town. So. Third gear, you sit my lap. <laughs> what a howl! It sounds lovely. Um, in terms of uh, wind protection. I don't know if this is adjustable, but I mean, quite a bit of wind, wind blast. Yeah, it's quite a wind, bit of wind blast from the, from the screen, so it's not as effective as uh, the one on the R1250 RS I rode. So this is of course the uh, classic GSX-R1000 engine with a K5 or K6, let's go this way actually Yeah, so it's that classic uh, Suzuki engine under oh, it's uh it feels the elastic that's the best way to describe it yeah that gearbox is nice and smooth as I said earlier the quick shifter up and down is uh, fantastic really really smooth no issues there Suspension superb. I mean, I'm presuming it's fully adjustable. Looks a bit, yeah. Uh, 
I'm not sure we've got heated grips or not, I can't see any buttons for it. That display, I'm loving it. And uh, you've got all the information you need on there. It's all very clear. Let's uh, go down here. We can open her up. <laughs> yeah. Elastic. Oh. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I test rode the S1000XR, and I didn't get on with that engine on there. But again, I think. As I commented afterwards, it was still being run in, so... Oh! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the rest were limited on that. So whatever he got to test it out to its full potential. I'll tell you what. I'm really enjoying this. Oh, it propels you forward. And that engine sounds demonic when you uh, when it's on song. I mean, with a decent end can, be fantastic. So there's nothing behind me. What should I get? Low speeds. So let's pretend, pretend, pretend we're crawling along in traffic. Yeah, this is really well balanced. It's a hint of vibration through the mirror. Through the right hand side mirror more than anything. There's a hint of vibration. Yeah, this is a uh, yeah, this would be a nice town bike. It's the same when I rode the uh, R1250 RS. This sports tour was a uh, well balanced because there's not too much pressure on your wrists. They're they're acceptable. Hello. So putting my feet down. I mean, it's not a light bike. I don't know. I can't remember the specs I found, but. It doesn't feel top heavy or anything, so there's no danger of dropping it when you stop at lights. Um, in terms of uh, technology, got cruise control, and also you've got uh, your traction control, and that's adjustable. So, I mean, I'm on TC3 at the minute, so I think there's five settings, so in the middle, and is fine i'll show him power how do we change the power mode there we go so we're in a now so now we're in sport mode <laughs> oh wow i can't see a thing though so. <laughs> oh, oh. so yeah so you got Traction control, you've got also got the uh, up and down quick shifter. Um, there's not a huge amount of, of toys on this, but it's a competitively priced bike to be fair. I'm enjoying the riding position, this is great. It's just I'm getting a lot of wind blast. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> You can get yourself into serious trouble with this bike. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, so this house demonic when it's on song. <laughs> Let me just stop somewhere and take some pictures now. Oh. Yeah, sport mode is where it's at, or A mode. Don't notice just how fast you're going. So, the side stand is easy to find, just a bit stiff to get down. Okay, so a walk around. I think it's a fine looking machine actually. What a nice light. I know the, the looks of uh, this bike divide opinion. I think they're all right. So you got your, you got the Brembo brakes, front and this in at the rear. A fairing. There's a decent drop on the sides. It's just that screen is not very effective, and that's your rear. Look at that. Close now. There we go. Yeah. I know they look easy to take off as well, so just, yeah. No ugly scaffolding. Um, so, yeah, so that's what all we can got time for, really, because I've only got a quick test ride. Got a handy. USB charging port there. Start up sequence. Very flash. Adventure bike now. All this mud. Okay. Oh. Brakes. Brakes are pretty good. Not eye popping, but tension there. Actually, <laughs> you can feel the. ABS kicking in. That was the front. Yeah, the radio yeah, ABS just kicks in. Find another spot here, and we'll go. Oh! No, they, they are good. There's plenty of feel, but good tug on it, and uh, yeah. So, where are we? Well, I've got to go down here actually. <laughs> I must do this. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's catchy deceptive. This is a quick bike. I can't remember the stats offhand. Oh, Mr. Squirrel! I'm going to turn around here. That is 
really well balanced actually. Because it's a reasonably heavy bike, it doesn't want to wheelie everywhere. Not the best of launches. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah. The best way I can describe this is it's like a fucking digital language, a missile. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to describe that engine, it's like a missile. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Fantastic. Yeah, the fuel in is sublime. Oh. Yeah, round the bends, round the corners, this is <laughs> lovely. This is a bumpy bit of road, no problems at all, coping really well with suspension is. In terms of vibrations, it's perfectly acceptable, there's a few little vibes at certain res, but... Yeah, hey, not uh, not too uncomfortable. Then you slick it up the gears and that's nice and smooth. I prefer this engine to the uh, BMW four cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, so it looks great. It goes like sting. Handles really well. Suspension's plush. Yeah, this is a great bike. I think we're living in a in a golden age of biking. You got all this power, and yet all these electronic trickeries to they won't save you from everything, but they do help rein the power in. I mean, some people don't like all that stuff, but you know, I'm happy to have it there in the background. Don't rely on it. No, just uh, know it's there to work in the background. If you need it. Yeah, well, a decent end can, this would be epic, but I think uh, might be a bit loud. <laughs> what is Listen to that roar! Well, not a roar, it's a howl! Oh. Oh. Uh, 
Okay, so what we're like for padding her about. Let's check you're working. Okay, tighten that up. Yeah, so as I said before, I've got a dodgy right leg and right knee, so. Yeah, she's a hefty bike, but that weight is sort of low down, so it's not top heavy. Um, but I prefer, because of my leg, I prefer to paddle about, so. Yeah, so I just stands easier to find. Yeah, I mean, you can feel the weight when you're pushing about like this, but it's okay. You know, you'll be doing that all the time, wouldn't you? Right. Let's get cracking. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah. So the display has switched to uh, this night time mode now. That oh, was really nice. I think I'd, I prefer to keep it like that all the time actually. Yeah, it's a very nice CFT screen that is. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, you, there's plenty of feel from the chassis on this. It's very confidence inspiring. It's fast, but it really is confidence inspiring. Who is this bike aimed at? I mean, it's uh, obviously not a beginner's bike, like the Trident 660 I rode yesterday. You know, you've got to respect this bike. Even with all the... Um, Rider aid, electronic rider aids. So, I mean, it, it's not foolproof. If you ride like an idiot everywhere, eventually physics will take over. Um, so yeah, this is for this is definitely a bike for the more experienced rider. But again, it's uh, it's okay. It's, it's actually really manageable. It's not it's not threatening to get out of hand once. Yeah, that, that engine is epic. I mean, I know it's a, it's pretty ancient now. But you can see why Suzuki stick with it. That tracks the bends. Oh, that's really nice. That. Yeah. Build quality looks. Um, Okay, there's a few areas, I mean this is a, a new bar, but there's a few areas that's showing a bit of uh, furriness and uh, the heel pegs have been scratched by the looks of it, from being ridden. But overall, you know, it looks okay, it doesn't look shoddily put together. I know where we go, we're going to have a blast on her. Let's see what she's like on a dual carriageway. Okay, what's that? Dual carriageway. Here we come. <laughs> Tunnel! We've got to do this, haven't we? This is absolutely lovely round the bends. <laughs> Just has to be done. Oh. Blimey! <laughs> this is huge fun. So, in comparison to the R1250 RS, what do I think? Um, that's a difficult one. I really like the uh, RS. 
but I have to say this this is fantastic um, the weather protection seen better on the RS normally I'm not going to ride this in the rain but uh, I didn't look to see if to, oh, this must be adjustable somehow nah uh, yeah so the, uh, the screen on the R1250 RS was much better I'd say this handles the bends better. I might be down because it, it's got better tyres than the uh, RS. The tyres on that weren't particularly confidence inspiring. Looks wise, I prefer the RS. I think it's the best looking BMW. I mean, as I said before, I think it's my, my favourite BMW full stop. But I, I like this bike, the looks of this bike. I know some people have. It's a bit like Marmite, but. I think it looks better than the unfair version. I do believe, I'm, I thought this had the uh, beauty of connectivity, but I don't think I'm that bothered actually on beauty of connectivity on activity on bikes. I mean, I've got the center. I could do most things on there. This handles absolutely beautifully. This is this is so sweet. I'm gonna have to take this back now, and I I don't want to. The buttons for the switch gear all feels nice. <laughs> I've got nine miles left apparently. So this bike is apparently doing 42 miles to the gallon. I suppose that's fair considering the kind of bike it is. Yeah, that clutch is so light though. <laughs> it can catch you out. But that, yeah, right, that slow speed, that is lovely. Slow speed turns, handled that beautifully. Really easy to find neutral, as I said earlier, the gearbox is lovely. So the big question is, would I own one? Do you know what? Absolutely. Based on this short ride. I would own one. This thing is naughty. But again, I mean, I'm in mode A in the sport mode now and around town the fueling is perfect. So after about 50 odd minutes in the saddle, the seat is nice, no complaints with the seat, suspension, still no issues, feels really nice, nice and supportive, no major fork dive. That quick shifter is a uh, Wonderful. Oh man, I can go in this lane, can't I? Bus lanes now. But uh, but it's the bus lanes now in Northampton. So my conclusions are, yeah, this is a lovely machine. Absolutely epic. If you're in the market for a sports tour, this is. Uh, Definitely a bike that's worthy of consideration. So I would say the um, what I've seen the, the brakes on the probably not the best, but uh, still perfectly good enough, perfectly adequate. Huh. I've got nine miles remaining, and I, I just realised that could catch you out. The uh, petrol icon is flashing. So that must be your reserve. So you, you, if there's no orange warning light for the fuel, you could get caught out by that quite easily. 
So that'll be one thing to get aware to be aware of. Riding position after 55 minutes in the saddle, this is fine. I mean, I was a bit concerned about my knees at first, but that is fine. I've got no no complaints. There is a bet you have got a bend in your knee, but it's it's not too uncomfortable. Bloody lights! Let's go for some bump. Yeah, I mean over the bumps, the suspension is great. And again, not much sure we're not in a way of fork dive. And so yeah, I think that that will be my uh, conclusions on the. Uh, this is Suzuki GSX at 1000 SGT <laughs> to give it, I don't know if that's the right name or not but, uh, but yeah if you're in the market for a sports tourer this is uh, a fantastic bike cheers guys over and out